that way of life, that culture that we were promised at treaty, a sacred covenant was made that we would always have that way. And to take away that gun takes away so much, so much of who we are. Vice Chief Beer, you said something in your opening remarks that really stuck with me, and I'd like you to expand on it a little bit if you could, please. And I've written it down here as a quote. You stated, when you confiscate guns, you are doing a lot more than just taking away a gun. Could you expand on that and what you meant by that? In our, in our, how we view a, a gun from a hunter's perspective, a, a treaty rights perspective, uh, it's a tool. It's a tool that we use uh, um, uh, to do a lot of things. When I talked about, uh, for example, a rites of passage, uh, the young hunters, the young boys, they go out to hunt. And uh, you're not just hunting, you're teaching your child courage, you're bonding, you're, uh, uh, you know, passing on protocols, ceremonial protocols, uh, how to look after your kill. You know, there's the uh, rites of passage, the reverence to the animal, the tobacco. So along with that tool comes a lot of teachings. Uh, also, you know, matters of safety. You know, you take a gun away, you take that opportunity for that those uh, that oral tradition to happen. Uh, the gun is also used to, you know, of course, provide that sustenance to elders. Uh, you know, when we look at poverty and uh, how we supplement our incomes by, you know, the wild meat and also our food sovereignty. You know that, uh, um, you know that. Uh, that way of life, that culture that we were promised at treaty, a sacred covenant was made that we would always have that way. And to take away that gun takes away so much, so much of who we are and where we come from. And uh, uh, that's what uh, I meant by that statement. Do you feel Bill C-21 will assist with any crime issues in your communities? From a First Nations perspective, uh, there again, I've stated that uh, one of the biggest grievances uh, First Nations have is response time. So uh, whether or not uh, having a license uh, to carry a gun uh, is going to make a difference when it comes to uh, violence with guns, I, I really don't see the legislation impacting. Off reserve, when you're looking at, um, you know, some of the gang violence, uh, you know, the access to guns. I really don't think this legislation is going to curb uh, a criminal when they're intending to do crime with a gun. They're not going to stop and think of whether or not they have a license. They really don't care. <laughs> so I uh, I think the biggest, uh, uh, the ones who are going to be impacted the more, I believe, in this legislation are the hunters and maybe the trappers in terms of the uh, the handgun use. So I really, uh, quite frankly, I don't believe this legislation is truly going to do what it was uh, the spirit and intent of it in terms of uh, uh, resolving crime. You know, a criminal is going to do crime whether they have a license or, uh, you know, in terms of guns. Thank you.